Alright guys, what's up? It's Poopoo Irwin, and today I got something a little different. Some, you may not know what this game is. You may, you might know what it is. This game is actually called Shadowrun. It came out in 2007. And believe it or not, people still play this game, like, regularly. You know, like, I mean, there's a lot of people that still play this game. And in my opinion, this is the the best uh, shooter, first-person shooter made for the 360. It the the hit detection is by far the best of any shooter I've I've played on 360. Um, the the skill like the skill gap as far as like the competitive nature of this game is just so high compared to other games like Call of Duty or or anything pretty much. I mean, the way it works is if you're if you're really good, you you have like no chance of dying to like someone who's bad. Like a noob, a noob is never going to be able to kill you. Like in Call of Duty, you know, it, they they can kill you all the time. There's no there's no ch you know, there there's no cheesy things in this game. There's no cheap tactics or anything like that. I mean, this game is just, it's pretty much just your skill versus the other guy, you know. Your your knowledge of the game versus the other players. And here I'm going to kind of tell you, um, I'm using the pistol here. I'm going to kind of tell you how the game plays out. There's four different classes. And at the beginning, and the way it works is, there's two teams, and the the um, the team who get who wins six rounds um, wins the match. So you know you can six o people, or you know it can be a really long game or it can be a short game. But either way, it has to be at least six rounds for it to end. And at the beginning. At the beginning of each um, round, you you go and you pick, uh, you buy your you pretty much they're like perks, which you can see up in the top left and right corner, like the three uh, like red squares. It's pretty much like perks that you buy at the beginning of each round because you earn money with kills and, and different things you do. But for you know different, you just earn pretty much points, and then you uh, you can buy different things. The the perk pretty much or the uh, the, it's called a, a tech that I bought is called enhanced vision and as you can see what I do is you, when you keep pressing it it actually shows you where the people are on the map um, but here you see me pick up this blue this blue flame thing this is actually called the artifact and this, it's pretty much like a capture the flag type thing I go ahead and score it there pretty much what it is is that's in the middle the team who gets it grabs it and takes it back to uh, the other uh, side um, they win the round you can win the round by doing that or you can win the round by killing all the other team but as you can see there I picked up uh, magic uh, which is teleport and it teleports pretty much the whole um, all the maps were pretty much designed around teleport teleport is probably the the thing that sets this game apart from any other game ever made pretty much as far as a shooter goes I mean you teleport allows you to literally go through walls uh, up and down left right diagonal you can just teleport anywhere so it really adds a, a, a skill type of uh, evade and also you know attack like you know if someone's shooting you you don't you, you're not automatically dead you can teleport away you can get away you know you could just jump up teleport it's not like once you get caught in a, uh, a a bad situation that you're dead in Shadowrun it is highly likely that a good player can take out you know a team of five guys it's not it's not like impossible like it would be in, in other games like you if, if you're good at teleporting, you can get around the map, you're good with your guns, you know, you can, uh, you can isolate the other players and catch them, you know, and, uh, and you can beat them. Um, 
And that's what's so good about this game. I mean, that's why so many people still play it. Like, there would not be people still playing this game if it was not incredibly good. And with that being said, this game does end uh, kind of unfortunately. But I won't give away what exactly happens, but yeah. The only bad thing about this game is it sometimes um, it'll pretty much lag out. But it's, it, it doesn't happen enough to the point where, you know, you don't want to play the game. You, it happens enough, like, what'll happen is randomly it'll just say, cannot, you know, cannot connect, and it'll pretty much just take you back to the menu. But honestly, it's, it really, it's not really a big deal, because the game is just so fun and so competitive that, uh, you know, it's, it's really worth a try. If you've never played this game, it's... I mean, to be honest, when you first play, if you've never played it before, you, you're going to get raped, you know, you're going to get raped when you first start playing, but it's really fun, and you, it's only, this game only costs $5, literally, <laughs> like, if you go to, like, a used game store, GameStop, or whatever, it's five bucks, and, you know, there's no single player in the game, it's just multiplayer, which you know, it was designed and fully made to be, like, a, the most competitive multiplayer game. Um, balance. Everything is just balanced. There's no, you know, the only weak thing is is the, the dwarf class, which is, like, a small class that's, like, a dwarf. They're kind of not that useful, but even them, even they have their uses, like... I mean, it's it's just a, a really great game. All in all, you see me, I'm using the rifle here, teleporting around. The maps are, are just amazing, too. And you can see these guys chasing me, and this is a good example of what you can do with teleport. And, and this guy, this troll here, he has way more health than me and stuff. But you see how I'm aware of where all the people are at. And I'm, and I, you know, you can cut corners with the teleport, you can, um... You can do all sorts of things. You can go up, go down. What I did with the trolls, I cut that corner, and uh, I took him out, and then just got out of there with teleport. And here, I pretty much realized that I have low health, and when you're a human like me, you have to actually stand by a tree, which gives you health. Pretty much just like a... You don't regain your health. There, There is a class that you do regain your health, which is an elf, but uh, I don't have... I didn't, I didn't pick that. They're, they're weaker, they're not as strong, so yeah. You see me healing here, and they go ahead and they run the artifact in and they win that round, but I'm doing pretty good in this game. This isn't a game where you get like huge, huge amounts of kills, but you can get, you can get like 20, you know, 20, 30 kills if you're, if you are, you know, on a good team and you're pretty much running through them, which does happen a lot sometimes but here I think this might be the last round I think that it might end up here but anyway you see what I did there it's one of the magic I have is called gust and it pretty much is like a, a Jedi you know the force you know you you push this uh, gust of wind at the other person and they can fly back it's really a really good um, like magic to have or per, uh, per, but yeah, it's, it's just a great game, I mean, I really urge you guys to get it, I will be, uh, if you guys want to hear me do like a, like a sort of a strategy, if any of you actually have this game, and, uh, you want to actually hear kind of like what my thought process is as I'm playing this game, I, w I would do that, but, this is, I'm just kind of showing you the game. Some people say, like, don't like the graphics. Me, personally, I, I love the, the graphics on this game. Like, especially in HD, it's just really, you know, obviously it's they're not going for photo realism, but, I mean, the maps, if you really take the time to look at some of these maps, they're some of the best maps, as far as design goes, than any, in any game I've ever played. I mean, the teleport lines are just 
insane. Like right there, how it jumped through the wall and caught him off guard. I mean, that's that's the beauty of this game. There's that's why this game this game never gets old either, is because you're never in the same situation. Like you don't get bored of this game because, you know, if you ever start getting bored, you know, you can change your class, you can you can change your uh, your perks up pretty much, or you know you can. Uh, Get it? Use a different weapon. Weapon like this. This human right here. He look at it. He's act, he actually caught me off guard. He's using a, a mini gun, which is like a Gatling gun, and I did not expect that because humans don't really ever use that. So he caught me off guard there and uh, gave me my first death of the match. You hear? You see that that thing too? It says uh, you can actually call votes on people to like if they're team killing because you can team kill in this game. What you do is you call a vote on that person, and usually in this game, the way like the community goes, people really don't put up with team killing for for too too long. Really, I mean, if someone starts team killing, you know, they'll just get kicked. But that's another good thing about the game. But uh, I'm pretty sure the game is coming to an end here. Yep, and uh, <laughs> as you can see right here, what actually happened is my Xbox froze. I don't, I don't really think it had anything to do with this game at all. I just think my Xbox randomly froze. But it's kind of unfortunate there. But if you guys want to see some more Shadowrun or whatever game you want to see, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll do one of those videos. So, till next time, guys. Peace.